House approves legislation allowing CBD use by military. Hey Siri, play Still Blazing by Wiz Khalifa. It's getting hard to see you because my eyes are low. I'm the Kush Clock, it's always time to smoke. <laughs> no, the title is not clickbait, but do not go out using CBD products just yet before we jump into the videos. Uh, YouTube snitched on you guys, and YouTube is like, hey man, a lot of people that watch your videos aren't actually subscribed, so I'll fucking wait. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. It's underneath the big picture. For you boomers watching, this picture of me talking that's moving right now, right underneath there's a red subscribe button. I'll fucking wait. Anyway, recently in the last week, um, House of Representatives approved an amendment to a bill that banned military using CBD, because you guys know CBD was already approved federally in 2018, so if you're of age, you can use CBD products in the US. Some states actually legalize, legalized marijuana, so depending on where you live is the restrictions that you fall under. Democratic Rep Tulsi Gabbard, Garbrand, Cody Garbrand of the UFC. I can't believe Cody Garbrand got in a law was approved by a vote of 360 to 71 as part of a package of amendments to the House version of a bill. And it goes like this. The Secretary of Defense may not prohibit on the basis of a product containing hemp or any ingredient derived from hemp, the possession, use, or consumption of such product by a member of the armed forces. The amendment from Garbrandt reads. So no, this would not mean military members can use marijuana. It would mean they can use cannabis oil, which is CBD. Uh, a like component of a cannabis plant. And if you guys are not tracking, if you're a boomer, if you didn't have a cool childhood growing up, cannabis plant um, can be broken off into multiple different things. But when you break it off into cannabis oil, you're not getting that THC property, which is what gets you high, which is why so many people use it recreationally. But cannabis oil has a lot of therapeutic healing effects, <clears throat> stress, anxiety, uh, anti-inflammatory, so you don't have to uh, take an NSAID every single time you're feeling pain. Athletes use it all the time across the US. For dudes with diabetes, which seems to be a problem in the US, it actually helped 56% of the patients with diabetes using CBD oil. People with cancer, this might give you a natural, now it's not a cure, there is no cure for cancer, but if you're just treating the symptoms, so you want symptomatic relief, CBD might be a natural course for you if you don't wanna go through chemo and swallow a bunch of pills. Basically, for CBD to be legal, it has to have under 0.3% of THC, but there comes the problem in the military is because we are actively drug testing people for THC, so then it, it, it paints kind of a gray line on um, tests, like obviously you're gonna be able to tell if someone uh, smoked uh, marijuana as opposed to just using uh, CBD oil, uh, but then that person has a case in you know some sort of court of law to be like, no, 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 I just ramped up on CBD products, which I mean, you wouldn't win that anyway. If this is signed into law and this former service member, David Metzler had this to say, see the DOD's policy on CBD use. It would actually allow people to re-enlist who have been caught with cannabis use because you guys know, Sometimes, uh, if you were to get you know busted with like a little bit of cannabis in your system, or at least in the past, uh, they would have the option to not necessarily kick you out, but bust you down in rank, and then uh, just not let you reenlist when your time comes up. Every day, around 22 veterans commit suicide in America, which is 130% more than the rate of the general population. He wrote in an email, as a Navy veteran, I believe that active military members should be able to utilize the therapeutic benefits of hemp-derived CBD and not have to risk their careers or penalize to do so. Their only option, he continued, is to use opioids and synthetic antidepressant medications to improve their mental and physical health, even though many of these medications have negative side effects for PTSD. Many active military members have strenuous daily jobs that put great wear and tear on their bodies, and it's our responsibility as an industry to make sure legislation is passed so that they can use non-addictive, non-opioid anti-inflammatories like CBD to be able to stay healthy and defend our country. It goes back to a point I think I made in this video. <laughs> I recorded this video like three times. Athletes use CBD all the time. Pro golfers use CBD. You see it all the time in the UFC. Look up Nate Diaz. You look at that guy's figure and you're like, there's no way he's a UFC fighter and he's actually gonna be in the Hall of Fame one day. What are your guys' thoughts on it? Do you think the uh, bill should be approved and military members should be able to use this? When I personally weigh the pros and cons, I kind of think about how we're allowed to drink alcohol. Alcohol is just destroying your liver and it's putting you in scenarios where you could harm yourself and others. 
whereas CBD is illegal and it's, it's mostly healthy effects. So, <laughs> very curious to see what you guys are gonna say in my comments. I know I have a very diverse audience on uh, probably both sides of the spectrum. I'm probably gonna get a paragraph from some boomer thinking I'm trying to defend one position or the other, which is not what I'm trying to do. But uh, yeah, hit subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.